All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Before we start, please don't forget after we finish this short video to download the video and share it with your friends. Uh, today, our topic, as usual, is to answer Muslims regarding questions and things they say. Sometimes I feel like Muslims are coming from different galaxy and they don't know who is their prophet and what Islam is about. And actually, I believe this is true in most of the cases, but sometimes the Muslim they play the game of deception. And in front of us, uh, someone he called himself in Arabic Saleh Khanur, and he say, <clears throat> and I will read for you. The prophet, and then they put peace and the blessing upon him, which is false. In Arabic, it says Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means Allah, uh, pray on him and salute him. This is here is not exist. Always when you see Muslims adding this, this is not exist. Said, whoever has in his hand a tree that he want to plant and know that it is the hour of the end of the world he must plan it and then he say do you think that such a prophet calls for destruction so i'm going to use the muslim logic the man who don't cut trees he is not a bad person the man who cut trees he is a bad person i like that so now if we find that muhammad he cut a tree and he was doing bad things what the muslims will say <laughs> i mean isn't it amazing you're a prophet my friend he cut the trees and he called for destruction and killing a rape so what are you talking about as i said the muslims and he himself he raped women he raped you know what what what, what where the Muslims is coming from? Which galaxy? I have no idea. If we go <clears throat> and see the hadith, we start with the hadith first. We will find the following. And remember, I'm using his quotation to prove that Muhammad is a very bad man. Because he just said, can you believe that such a man can be a bad person? Why? Because he said the plant trees. So what he is saying to us, the ones who cut the trees are the evil one. This is what you are saying. And I like that. Let us go and see what Muhammad did. Muhammad, after killing the Jews, because he is a very hateful person and very mad man, not only he cut the trees, I mean, not only he killed the Jews, after that, he was uh, burning their trees. All those references are Sahih reference. I, I know the Muslims, they will say, uh -huh, this, is, uh, this is Hadith week. <laughs> this is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim and the reference in front of your eyes. So don't play the game of weak and fat and skinny. And missing vitamin A, D and A and C, the game of the Abdul, which is very well known. And then, you know, the funny, uh, a second ago, a Muslim woman, she was posting in Facebook saying, some people, they post funny, stupid hadith about the Prophet saying that the music is forbidden. <clears throat> it's very funny, too, that your Muslims call what your prophets say stupid, because the hadith is what your prophet stupid. What he said, I mean. So the Muslims today, right away when you show them this, they will say, ah, I don't accept this hadith. This hadith is weak, but this is Sahih Muslim. So what if it is Sahih Muslim? I don't care, you know? I don't care. It's, uh, it says, uh, even if it's Sahih, here we go. It says Sahih, I don't care, I don't care. It must be weak because now they got busted. Their prophet saying that. <clears throat> but their prophet himself is doing that. This is what the Muslims they do. And this is what the Prophet does. Do you see it? All those references are your reference and they are Sahih. 
not only that we can show it to you from the Quran but because those Muslims they try to fool themselves and fool others and lie about about what they have you know they, they play the they play dumb they don't know I mean I don't know you see the Prophet he never do that how come they say to us they recite the Quran and they know it by heart if we go to the Quran we will find the verse a specific chapter a specific verse is speaking about it is Allah who ordered the Muslims to burn the trees and cut the trees not only to cut the trees to burn it which means the tree will never grow up again not only he cut it he burn it for he is evil he don't want the trees to come back you know you kill the Jews okay what, what what's wrong with the tree is, is the tree is your enemy for he is a very mad evil man if we go here in the Quran we will find the following let us see the translation 59 verse number five you can choose any stupid translation in the front of you all of them they are liars but we will use it you know just to show you we are not using our own translation all right whatever palm tree you cut down or left standing in their roots it was by Allah leaves <laughs> speaking about what this verse about what is about Allah ordering the Muslim to cut the trees of their enemies but there is no enemy left he killed them all you know they, they, some escape and they run away out, out Muhammad he said if I am victorious I will never leave I'm going to kick out I'm going to do genocide to the Christian and the Jews if we go in the trans the interpretation so the Muslim they will say oh this is not about this let us go to the interpretation this is Tafsir Jalalain, as you see in the front of your eyes and Tafsir Jalalain is Tafsir mean for those who do not know interpretation for the Quran by the Muslim scholars and this is the official government of the government of Jordan this website is owned by the king of Jordan he is one of the Abduls actually he claimed that he is from the grandsons of the Muhammad this is why that explains why he's corrupt the interpretation we can change any interpretation by the way you can use them all of them all of them say the same whatever palm tree you cut down all Muslims or left standing on their roots by the God leaves he gave you the choice in this matter and order 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 that by giving you the leave to cut them down he might disgrace those who are immoral the Jews so in order to disgrace somebody Or the one who have one day left of his life, he planned a tree or judgment day tomorrow. He is a bad person. What do you say now? Right away he will say, Oh, it's okay to cut the trees now. A second ago, it was haram. The one who do it is bad. But as long the Prophet is the one who do that, as long Allah in the Quran says do that, that means it is lawful. Yesterday it was the Jews who are cutting the trees, but today we find out that the one who cut the trees is Allah. And his followers this is how we expose this cult this is a very ugly disgusting cult it's called Islam and we are here to expose it if you like to read more and to learn more feel free 
and get my books from amazon.com just search for a Christian Prince and you will see tons of reference if not thousands exposing the cult of Muhammad and how ugly it is use your brain in case you have one but do you I mean do you have one let us see thank you Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again bye bye